All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fast for 41 hours during Lent. I know I did a little bit longer last year for Lent, but I was in Seattle where it wasn't so cold, so um, I, I still think I did pretty well this year. I'm hoping to do other fasts throughout the year for various events like I did last year, uh, celebrating various holidays, birthdays, anniversaries. I'll certainly do one in memorial of um, COVID-19, which was declared a pandemic on March 11th. I look forward to that. I also look forward to doing a fast. Um, uh, next week we have the anniversary of the first um, World Trade Center bombing. That was in 1993 on February 26th. The first major terrorist attack in the United States. It will be 28 years. Um, but I want to mention a few lessons that I learned during my uh, last year of fasting. One thing I learned is don't take anything for granted. We live in a country where um, at, the, at the click of a mouse button or at five minutes drive away, we can get all the food from around the world. And sometimes it's easy to forget how much we take that for granted, right? It takes a pandemic and then all of a sudden your food isn't as secure as you thought it was or maybe... Uh, you, you, you have other things to tend to and you can't get to your favorite foods or something gets in the way, right? Um, it, it, and a couple days ago, I went to the same five guys that I went to today and uh, they couldn't ring up an order. I mean, they had their fries right there. And uh, I, I would have I paid them cash or did whatever it took. To, and it's right there. And they just couldn't ring it up. And these, you got to understand, some of these people are not especially highly educated people. Not that it's anything wrong to, to, to they're, they're, just, they're just not educated yet. Let's put it that way. And so uh, not exactly the best uh, business sense to just stand there doing nothing except telling people that their, their, their system wasn't working. Um, but... It, 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 I, I, I realize how much I take for granted that I can just walk two blocks away and get my five guys. And I learned not to do that. And I wasn't too uncomfortable that day. Had it been a year or two years ago, it, w it would have been a different story. I used to lash out at stuff like that. I would get anticipatory about eating something, and it was like I couldn't turn myself back in time. Um, it, it was like almost like a drug craving or a cigarette craving. You know, you ever try to... A coworker wants to go out to smoke, and uh, for some reason you don't let him go out, and you got a meeting going on, and just just see how much of a wreck that person is, right? I used to behave like that with food. Um, now when I see people craving cigarettes, it, it makes a lot more sense to me now that I've gone through it. So don't take it for granted. Um, try to try to think about what in life you take for granted, and try to relax yourself away from that. Um, also. Um, Nothing's final until it happens, right? You might think about eating something. It might be the most available thing in the United States. But until that food actually lands into your mouth and you're able to eat it and swallow and digest it, uh, any number of things could come up, right? You could you could even... It, it might not even be somebody come, something coming up against you, right? You might think of a better thing to do besides eating, right? And so try to live one moment at a time. Try not to plan, like, I'm going to eat something, I'm going to go somewhere this summer, I'm going to see somebody. You know, we, we all learned last year how, how, how well those plans could go, right? Uh, go where you want to go, see who you want to see at the moment, but don't try to force yourself that three months later I got to do this or five minutes later I got to eat that. Um, you're setting yourself up for disappointment and, and, and uh, conflict if you do that, right? Because you won't be as malleable as, and you might even see something better to eat and you won't be malleable to that, right? Um, another thing I learned is that um, there's more to life than food. Um, every time I've gone on a 24 to 48 hour fast, I, I discover other things that I enjoy. And there are other ways to eat besides food, right? You eat with your eyes, you eat with your experiences, you eat with music you might hear or conversations you might hear. Those are all forms of consuming, right? It doesn't have to be swallowing something, right, in my opinion. Another thing I learned is that when you're having a craving and um, you're, you're thinking about digging into something, it can always wait. There's always another time to, to have something. 
I got in some trouble um, when I was in Taiwan a couple years ago because I don't travel to Taiwan very often. I'm lucky to spend two weeks in Taiwan every year, and sometimes not every year. But um, I uh, there were there were more things I wanted to eat than my appetite would allow for. And then I re nowadays I realized I haven't gone to Taiwan since that year, by the way. But I now realize when I'm traveling, right? Let's say I go to uh, well on my way between Seattle and Missoula. There's definitely a few restaurants that I like, and I might not have the appetite. But you know what? Uh, the, the fact that I'm uh, having better control of my eating probably means that I'll have more trips across uh, the Northwest in my lifetime just because I'll live longer, right? And th th that food will be waiting for me there and probably even better food will be available at some point, right? Maybe one day I might even go back to uh, uh, Taiwan or... Uh, I, don't, I don't miss Taiwan anymore, by the way. I, I've come to realize there's a lot more to life than all the stuff that I saw there. And plus... I'm making a lot of friends here in the United States that I could actually go back to visit, right? I made a lot of friends in Wallace, Idaho. They're only a few hours drive away. It's a whole different story if I make connections in Taiwan. So, four lessons. There's more to life than food. Uh, don't take it for granted. I mean, eat when, when it comes up, but don't take it for granted that you could eat whatever it is, right? Uh, nothing's final until it happens, right? You, you might think about what you want to eat in five minutes or who you want to see five weeks from now, but until it happens, um, try to be flexible with what could happen next. And when you get a craving to do something, eat something, go somewhere, and you, for whatever reason it's not convenient to do, just realize that uh, it can wait and it, it will be there for you when, 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 when the time comes.